Hello families and welcome back with a new video. Today we are looking at lesson 5-4, which we're going to be focus on, focusing on breaking apart numbers to subtract. So again, in this lesson, uh, students are going to subtract one, a one-digit number from a two-digit number by breaking apart the one-digit number to make it easier to subtract mentally. So let's go ahead and look at the first problem that we have here. The first problem that we have is 33 minus 6. So once again, you can break apart the number you're subtracting, which is going to be the 6 in this case, to find the difference. Alrighty, so here is the whole goal here. There are different ways that we can break apart uh, the number 6. We could do, and in order to break apart, we use this symbol in class. I just tell students it's, it's an upside down V. We can do 1 plus 5. We could do 2 plus 4. We could do 3 plus 3. Okay, um, so let me explain the, the numbers that we're going to choose and why we're going to choose those numbers. Okay, so again, what we're, what we're going to do is we are going to subtract. And to subtract, as we were looking at in the last lesson, we want to try to make whichever number that we're subtracting, the, the bigger number, a 10. It makes it a lot easier when we subtract um, by tens and, and tens and ones. More specifically, if we have a two-digit number, we want to try to get that number to a 10 to make it easier. So in order to get this number to a 10, the closest 10 that we can get this to is 30. So that lets me know here that one of my numbers for this is going to be 3 because I know if I subtract 3 from 33, it's going to give me 30. So this is where I got the 3 from. If I break down 6, I can get a 3 and another 3 out of it. Okay? Again, we're going to use whatever number he we have here to help us figure out how to break apart our one-digit number. So again, just to repeat, I want to make this number a 10. I can make this a 30 if I subtract 3 from it. So I know when I decompose or break apart this number here, one of those numbers has to be a 3. Okay? So now I have 33 minus 3. It's going to be these two numbers. And then I'm going to take that answer, whatever I get from 33 minus 3, and subtract 3 from it. So let's go ahead and look at that. That might sound a little bit confusing, but let's go ahead and look at what we have here. So I'm going to start at 33. My 33 is right here. And I'm going to subtract 3. One, two, three. And that's what I said. If I subtract three from 33, it's going to give me 30. Now, I'm going to bring this guy down because I know now that I need only what I have left. That came out really sloppy. Sorry. What I have left to subtract is the three. So now if I come to on my mat and find 30 minus three, I have one, two, three. Three. So my answer is going to be 27. Again, I showed you using um, a drawing method as well as using um, a hundreds chart. But again, we are trying to get students to do this mentally. So if we were doing this mentally, we would not have this chart here. That is why I tried to show it here and here so that you can get both ways um, of how we're doing it or try to understand um, better how we're getting to this number. All right. So I'm going to erase here, and I'm going to show that again. Bear with me. I'm going to erase this here, and I'm going to show that again without the mat in there. So again, we already established that we're going to decompose or break apart our number to 3 and 3. 3 plus 3 equals 6. The reason we got this 3 here is because we know we want to get this number to a 10 to make our subtraction easier. If we subtract 3 from 33, that would give us 30. That is why we know one of our numbers to break apart for the number 6 has to be a 3. Okay, so 33 minus 3 is going to give us 30. Now all we have left is our other three here. We're no longer looking at the six because, again, we've bro broken that number apart. We don't need him anymore. We've gotten our 33 minus 3, which is 30. And now all we have left is subtract 3 from it. 30 minus 3 is 27. So our final answer would be 27. 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give us another problem. I'm going to go ahead and put that chart back in there. We'll go ahead and put this back in here just to give us something to work with here. Okay, now let's look at our next problem. I'm going to do 43 minus 9. 43 minus 9. Okay, so again, we have to break apart, Ooh, excuse me, excuse me, we have to break apart our 9 here. Again, in order to do that, we want to get this number to a 10. Right now it's at 43. We want to get it to a 10. So the 10 that we can get this number to is a 40. So I know that if I subtract 3 from my 43, I would get the answer of 40. So I know that one of my answers here, when I break apart this number, has to be a 3. So 3 plus what is going to give me 9? The answer is going to be 6. Now I have my two subtraction problems here. I have 43 minus 3, which we already discovered is going to give us 40. Now we've used that one, so now we have our 6 left. So 40 Minus 6 is going to give us what? Come on, guys, you can do it. 40 minus 6. All righty, let's use the map. Okay, we have 40 here. And then we're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Is that what you got as your answer, 34? If you did, great. Awesome. So our final answer here is going to be 34. Okay, so hopefully that made sense. Again, we're coming up with all these different strategies, all these different methods to subtract to find what works best for you. So if you like this one, go ahead and keep practicing, create some problems, have your parents create some problems for you, and just keep practicing until you can get that math mentally and so you won't need this chart anymore. That's what we're trying to get you guys, so that you won't need this chart anymore, but it's always going to be there if you need it to help support you. Alrighty, if you have any more questions, send me a dojo message. Um, go ahead and like this video. Um, subscribe so you never miss one of our videos. And I will see you in our next video. Bye, guys.